This is Daniel Inaudi, and today I will be discussing the use of distributed fiber optic sensor for sinkhole monitoring and detection. Sinkholes are surface collapses that are typically due to underground void formation, and those voids can have natural causes, for example through karst processes, or they can be man-made, for example in the case of underground mines or pipelines that are bursting underground or what groundwater level changes. In the picture you can see an example of a large sinkhole that formed in Kansas in October 1974 and uh, it affected a railway line. As you can see the uh, ground collapsed and the uh, rails were hanging in the air so that would obviously be a very dangerous situation that you want to avoid or detect as quickly as possible. A more recent case is a smaller example of sinkhole that opened uh, in front of President Trump estate at Mar-a-Lago in uh, Florida. Uh, so again, uh, an unwanted and unexpected event that uh, um, should be monitored or detected as early as possible. So if you want to do that, you could think of installing traditional settlement sensors at uh, different locations along the potential sinkhole area. However, this approach has some limitations, in particular since the location of the sinkhole itself is not known uh, a priori, uh, you might end up in the situation where the sinkhole forms at a location where you have no sensors. Uh, so either use a very dense network of sensor or your coverage will not be complete. This is where distributed sensing uh, can bring an innovation. In this case, we can use a measurement system connected to a sensing cable that measures strain at every location along the cable itself. So if a settlement happens, the initial movements will put the cable in traction, will introduce a strain in the fiber, and that strain will be detected and localized. In this way, we can sense everywhere and we don't need to decide where to install the sensors because the system will be able to pick up a settlement and therefore an indication of sinkhole at any location along its length. The benefit of this solution is that it can measure strain and temperature using specialized uh, distributed sensing cable with a special resolution of one meter, meaning that we can localize uh, the event with one meter accuracy and over a range of up to 50 kilometers. It has long-term stability, so it's possible to monitor over many years, and dedicated software can analyze the data automatically, detect uh, uh, the events that uh, we want to detect, and visualize their location. Since all sensing happens in the optical fiber, there is no electromagnetic interference or lightning um, sensitivity. And this is a very cost-effective solution where a large number of points is required. Here's a picture of the instrument that is used to perform such measurement. It has a range of 50 km, special resolution of 1 or 2 meter, depending on distance, uh, strain accuracy of 20 microstrain, temperature precision of 1 degree, and it can perform a measurement over the wall uh, length of 50 km every 5 minutes. The sensing cable come in different shapes depending on how they are installed. Uh, sensing tape for surface installation, smart profile and hydrogen geo to embed them in concrete or in the ground. And finally the software that receives the data, analyzes it, detects where some strain exceeds the predefined levels and can then display with these yellow and red dots the locations where such events have happened. The software can also send alerts by email or messaging, so uh, the people in charge of the safety and security of the, of the area can immediately be notified of a potential sinkhole and uh, uh, see on the user interface where uh, the sinkhole is forming and maybe send an inspector to verify or close the traffic to avoid any accident. To demonstrate the technology, I will first go through a, an example of laboratory test. In this case, we have installed the sensing cable on a geotextile in a sand uh, uh, bath. 
and we have imposed a vertical controlled settlement in the center of this sand container uh, so that we could simulate a very small uh, movement in a very defined area. Here's uh, some pictures of the sensor installation. This is when the sensor were laid on the first layer of sand and then everything was covered with uh, more sand. And you can see here the smart profile installed at, uh, inside the, uh, the sand itself. Once we applied the, the um, vertical deformation, we could record the strain as a function of the position. Uh, so you can see the different colored curve correspond to different level of settlements. For small settlement, the uh, deformation is concentrated close to the uh, settlement zone. And as the settlement progresses, uh, longer and longer sections of the measurement cable uh, record strain. But the maximum is always recorded at the location where the settlement is taking place. In this case, at 18 meters from the uh, beginning of the cable. We can also plot the recorded strain as a function of the vertical settlement, and you can see that there is an almost linear relation. So this means that it is not only possible to detect and localize uh, the settlement, but we can also estimate uh, the uh, size of the settlement itself. And uh, we can certainly say if the settlement is increasing, decreasing, accelerating or stabilizing. Let's now switch to a real-life example of continuous monitoring using this technology. Uh, this is a project for monitoring sinkhole formation in Kansas, in the same area where the uh, big sinkhole formed in the 70s. In this case, four kilometers of sensing cable were installed over an abandoned uh, salt mine and are permanently monitored now for several years using a die test uh, readout unit. The cable was installed in the ground with a simple process. A trenching machine formed a trench about half a meter depth. The sensor was deployed in the bottom of the trench and then everything was closed. So in the case of settlements, uh, the ground would move and uh, take the cable uh, with it. And this would induce strain in the cable that would be recorded by the measurement system. Here you can see the user interface and at the same time uh, depiction of the path of the uh, sensing cable. On the top of the image it's following a rail line, in the center is following a road and in the bottom is uh, close to a constructed area. Uh, you can see that in this case everything is green, so we have not detected any abnormal strain, but in the case of uh, early warning signal from the formation of a sinkhole, a specific area would turn red and this would immediately allow the identification of the location of the, um, uh, of the sinkhole uh, formation. Another uh, quick test of the system in the field in this case. So we have applied a vertical displacement of six inches and one foot. And you can see that these were immediately detected by the uh, monitoring system and uh, localized at uh, 3 kilometers and 10 meters from the measurement instrument. Again, as the um, settlement increases, uh, the uh, affected length of cable increases as well. So in conclusion, fiber optic sensors are an innovative monitoring solution that is now tested and proven in several field applications. It is a very interesting uh, in technology for structural and geotechnical monitoring and instrumentation, and is really ideal for detecting and especially for localizing events such as sinkhole, settlements, leaks from dams and dikes, cracks in tunnels, or abnormal joint movements, and many other uh, applications where you want to detect and localize an unwanted event. Unique features of this technology include the ability to measure strain and temperature over very long distances that can exceed 50 kilometers and the ability to sense uh, those quantities everywhere along these 50 kilometers with one meter accuracy. If you would like additional information, please visit our website at www.smarttech.ch.